Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to make a video today about a problem I'm having that maybe you're having too, and no, I'm not talking about the weight I've put on recently. I'm talking about seat belts. So uh, if you're anything like me, you know, you got a lot of classic cars, uh, and you know, obviously they've got a lot of miles and stuff on them. And one thing that seems to break is seat belts. And up until recently, I'd kind of thought my only options were buying used seat belts off a, of, you know, uh, Evil Bay or some other, you know, swap meet or something else like that, or you know, spending the money to buy new seat belts. Um, but the other day, I ran across something uh, that's another option, and that's rebuilding uh, old original seat belts. And let's, so, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, on this car. Uh, this is a 72 Chevelle wagon, obviously, and it's got these original style seat belts and you can see like this This is the the female receiver. It's the push button release and Something happens. I, I don't know what this plastic, you know gets old over, you know a few years And then you push this and next thing, you know, the thing explodes in your hand like um, a Hand grenade so and the spring shoots out and the little plastic piece comes off and everything's all brittle um, so what I had done when this happened to me in the past was I found another used set um, that smelled like cat pee. So that's great. It really adds to the ambiance of the car. And then, you know, you clean them up the best you can, stick them in the car. But I found something else that's way better. So let me show you. So I went to the, I found this uh, website on the interwebs, right? And it's, they're called the Parts Place. And I'll put a link in the description and everything. And they have, uh, from a cursory look, uh, for you know, I'm really into GM stuff. So that's really all I was looking for but they had a bunch of options for different things But what they have is a rebuild kit uh, And it comes with everything you need for the specific style seat belts now they had uh, This this seat belt which you know is a little more rare uh, than most a lot of you other a body guys You're probably more familiar with this seat belt where it you know releases with still a button, but it's a lot wider clasp that out of here. Anyways, um, I think I think they were a dollar twenty nine or something. They were ridiculously cheap, and you know, to get a set of new seat belts, you're going to set yourself back a couple hundred bucks. Um, even when I bought these uh, cat urine ones, um, I think it was a, it was three female receivers and two male belts, and it was I want to say I paid one hundred and fifty bucks. And like I said, they smelled like cat pee. Uh, really, actually, that's not true. They smelled like they spent forty years being peed on by cats. And then what I did is I cleaned them up. So I went on to the jungle. I went on to the jungle website, Amazon, and I bought these brushes. I brought a, a pack of them. There's like, oh, you know, seven or eight of them in there. And then I took some mothers and a drill and I soaked them down in mothers, uh, the interior detailer. And then I, you know, roughed them up with a brush. And then I soaked them in a combination of degreaser and dish soap for about 10 hours. And believe it or not, when they came out, they sm still smell like cat pee, but at least they were clean, right? So, um, and you know, at least the car has a smell now, right? So that's great. So let me show you how these work. Anyways, um, but like I said, I just use these with a drill, you know, to clean everything up. So here is one of the broken belts. And you guys really don't need a video for me to show you this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I might as well. So... Uh, here's one that's exploded and here's another one that's exploded. Like I said, these kits were like four twenty nine dollars a piece or one twenty nine dollars a piece, something like that. It's, these are details I should probably know. Um, but all you gotta do is clear this old plastic out of there. Um, and you can, you know, obviously bend it out however you need to. And then open the package like so. Suspense is building, obviously. And as you can see, it comes with everything you need minus the housing. So we've got this plastic piece that's sort of a guide. You've got the actual latching mechanism, the spring that causes it to shoot up, this retaining housing that's still made out of plastic, but you know, hopefully it'll last me another 30, 40 years. Then, um, so this tab, right here is what latches onto the belt. So you want, when you push down, this tab is gonna go into the um, housing and release the belt. So obviously when it goes into the housing, it looks like this. You want that the receiver's gonna, this latching mechanism is gonna be on the bottom obviously. 
and then you want so that when you push that button down it it goes below the uh, this uh, provision here and releases the belt that's way too much explaining for something that's this simple oh hey we do what we can here so first you put the spring in the bigger side goes down obviously <coughs> And then you place the locking mechanism in, and it uses these rails to hold it in position. Then you put this uh, piece in over the top, just like that. Actually, you want it to go this other way, I think. So to hold that whole thing down in there, then you take that plastic housing, and you come over the top. Press it in to the housing just like that till you hear it click, and now you have your very own working seat belt again. And then you can go ahead and take this fancy sticker, which is very lovely. And it's got a plastic cover piece on it, so it stays nice and shiny and blue. And then you can hopefully not struggle to. Peel the adhesive backing off. Really, it's the hardest part. For me, anyway. Then you center it up on the buckle, just the way you like it. And just like that, you have a working seat belt again. They don't all come with two. Um... But that, that one did. Um, these other ones don't. Uh, but like I said, you know, this is a way cheaper option uh, to rebuild your seat belts. Um, you can even do this in the car. You don't even have to take them out, which is sort of the beauty of it. Oh, should probably be wearing safety glasses. Like I said, again, big spring goes down. Edging mechanism oriented this way. The guide, this provision towards the front. Push the whole thing down and hold it in. After you get it lined up in both of those slots, bring over the plastic housing. Hold everything in place. Press it all down till you hear it click. And just like that, man, we've got two more functioning C belts to replace the old cat piss belts that I had in there before. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Probably can't say cat piss on the internet, can you? Your man will struggle for an embarrassing amount of time to pull this paper off the back here. Line it up just a little crooked. And just like that, bam, done, totally, sweet. Um, another thing you can do to restore seat belts, if you can get away with it, is you can take it and put it in the uh, washing machine uh, on a long soak with a bunch of dish soap. Like, you know, basically uh, pour dish soap onto the belt, rub it in the best you can, really try to get into all these stitches and in these seams. Throw it in the uh, washing machine, let it soak, and then oscillate, pull it out, let it dry, and that will be pretty clean. Like I said, I didn't do that with these particular belts. I just cleaned them up with a brush, and that also worked pretty well. But hopefully that helps you guys out. I will definitely put a link down in the description for uh, the parts place where I got these from. I'm um, not affiliated with them in any way, just thought it was a great way to help you guys save uh, some money like I did, and I really hope it helps you out. If you have any questions uh, or any issues, you know, please uh, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching, guys.